Controlling external bleeding. There are a few common ways to control an external bleeding. Direct pressure, elevation, pressure bandage, and also pressure points. Ow. Oh no, what happened? I fell. Let me see. You fell. <gasps> What's your name? Elisana. Okay, I will call the ambulance now, right? Okay. Deep, 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 deep. Hello? Yes, I have a patient who has bleeding on her left arm, Alishana Ariel. Yes. Okay, yeah, you'll be on. All right, okay, the ambulance will be on their way. So bef I can help you control the bleeding, but before I do that, let me put on some gloves and mask, okay? Okay. Okay. So, Alishana Ariel, right? Yes. My name is Rachel Antonat. I will help you control the bleeding, okay? Okay. So first, let me remove the clothing that is blocking. Yes. So what happened? I was walking with my friends and they asked me to jump and I fell. You fell down? Yeah. Oh no, did you hit your head? Uh, no. So only your hand? Yeah. Okay, so to stop the bleeding, we can put pressure like this. Okay, okay direct pressure. However, I have a first aid kit and I have a bandage over here. Okay. So I will help you put on the bandage, understand? Okay, the ambulance will be on their way, so you will be okay. Okay, how does that feel? Uh, okay. Is it tight? Yes. It's too tight? It's uh, just okay. Yeah. Alright, are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay, you can put, you can hold your arm like this, and then you can wait for the ambulance to come. Okay. Another way to control the bleeding, while you apply direct pressure, you can elevate your arm. Okay, high up. There is another method to control the bleeding. We can apply tourniquet. So since I do not have a tourniquet, but I will use this glove as a tourniquet. Alright? So I will wrap around here. I'm not going to put it directly on your skin because it will be painful. I'll put it on your clothes. Okay, it's gonna hurt, but then this will also stop the bleeding, okay? Because this stops the blood flow from flowing to your forearm. Understand? Okay. Applying tourniquet depends on the localization of bleeding. If the bleeding comes from the upper limb, pressure point on the brachial artery. Bleeding from the lower limb, pressure point of the femoral artery. Bleeding from the neck, pressure point on the carotid artery, bleeding from the scalp, pressure point on the temporal artery, and bleeding from the face, pressure point on the facial artery. Controlling external bleeding is very important to prevent further blood loss. Significant changes in the vital sign may occur when a patient loses too much blood. For example, increase in heart rate, increase in respiratory rate, decrease in blood pressure. While waiting for paramedic or an ambulance, you may monitor these vital signs.